everybody, it's Brittany, and today I am doing a compare and contrast between two different palettes. I purchased these a while ago in a Tam Beauty haul, and they look like this, but I discovered after I opened it that these are extremely similar. So, now I'm going to swatch them together to see if they actually are similar, because I do know that some of these come back. I, this one I have seen come back, which is the Give Them Darkness. I've seen this one come back. Um, I, I eyed it a few years ago. I really wanted it, and then it came back when I hauled it. I have never seen this one, so I don't know if they both are holiday because I know that these come out around Halloween. Don't mind my hands. I have liner on them. If you're interested in how I got this look here, I actually do have a video. It is the fairy doll look from the House of Glam Dolls and I it comes with instructions in it. I followed them and this is what I got. Moving on, I'm going to swatch these. I don't know if these have actual shade names in them. I'll see. I'm opening them up. They're both by Revolution. Alright, alright, at least they have the names on the back, so I was thinking I might get confused if they're that similar. I lost the sponge. But this is what the inside of Dark Rain looks like. And then, we lost the second sponge. But this is what the inside of Give Them Darkness looks like. These do have shade names. So... What I am going to do is I'm going to do half swatches on my arm so that way hopefully I can get all of these like on top of each other and then I will tell you what they are. Per usual I will be doing it this way because this is how I read a book. This is just how I'm going to do things. My fingers are going to be stained for life. I actually have a random, well, not a random swatch. I didn't go far enough, so I, instead of having an, a baby elbow swatch, I had to move it up here. So this isn't really the way that I said it was going to be. It's like, I went this way, I went this way, and this way, and then I moved that to the front. Yeah, that's what we did. Alright, so these colors are Rain Royal Blood. Dungeon Royalty, Poison Apple, Wicked, Huntsman Loyal Subject, Heart of Stone, Princess Heart, Black Heart, Magic Mirror, Throne, Coronation, Crown Jewels, and Majesty. I will say that I will say that some of these are very unimpressive. For example, this shade here, which is going to be Magic Mirror, is actually a purple shimmer, and you can barely see it. Along with the one next to it, which is Throne. What I'm finding with this palette is that. It's supposed to be top row is mattes, and then the bottom row is supposed to be coordinating shimmers, but the shimmers are not translating very well. And then we have this random red here, which isn't shimmery on the bottom. It's weird. I get what they were going for. I feel like this is like those NYX palettes where it has the same shade, but in three different finishes. But they kind of didn't do it right. This one in the pan looks glittery, but it's an overspray. Because when I swatch it, it's definitely matte. And, for example, the purple one just did not turn out right. And a lot of these that are supposed to be metallic, they just are extremely, extremely lackluster. Alright, moving on, we have the bottom row which is coming from the give them darkness and I did this one correctly there's no like the last one's the first one <laughs> all right I but I am having issues I gotta put these back all right 
This is fear, suspicious, give them darkness, <laughs> dusk, twilight, shade, shadow, horror, afraid, hell, scare, overcast, jump, and nightmare. Now, the way that they set up this palette isn't the same as they set up the first one. Now, looking at the back of the palettes, they look so similar, but on the skin, they're not. With the Dark Rain palette, a lot of these, like I said, they're, they have like coordinating shades as opposed to this one, which is the Give Them Darkness where it doesn't have coordinating shades. But at the same time, I feel like just by looking at the palette that they kind of just added a few different colors and said, hey, this is not the same palette. Because this red one here is the only red in here and the white one here is the only white one in here. I find that this shade here, which is the, one of the shades that actually drew me to both of these palettes, which is this greenish like deep teal it's supposed to be a teal color but it's deeper and definitely more darker i find that here it shows up beautifully but let me find it in dark rain actually i find that here it's beautiful and it's not even in dark rain where i was looking at these shades from the back these two here were the colors that drew me in which is looks like it's coordinating with these two here like I'll even pull them closer here so these two here appear to coordinate with these two here they're not even similar whatsoever outside of it that's why I purchased it was to get this shade because for some reason one palette with that shade wasn't enough but I do find that with these the blacks are very intense so it does have a good black shade in it and this teal shade here. I find also that a lot of these shades are just, they're not good. We have this green here and this green here, not good. This green here, at least here, is a lot better. The purple, I think this is a purple, isn't it? Oh no, this is supposed to, is that a purple? I'm gonna try swatching that again. It's supposed to be this shade. Hmm. In the pan, it doesn't look purple. Actually shows it better that second time I swatched it. So this shade here, more of a taupe, but it swatches def definitely more of like a vintage purple. It's weird. But out of both of these palettes, actually let me clean my arm real quick before I accidentally get this on my shirt. Okay, out of both of these palettes, if I had to choose one, I would probably go with the Give Them Darkness palette over the Dark Rain palette. Mainly because the Dark Rain palette, I feel like they were going for something, but they kind of failed at it. And I don't need two shades of the same color when both shades are crap. If they don't work out, I don't want them both. With the Give Them Darkness palette, I feel like they do have a lot of similar shades, and, but they have a theme where it's like these deep, purples and greens and there are some mattes in here not as many as the dark rain one but I feel like it's it's not enough this is not a palette that you could do a standalone look with not at all just like when I did this eye look here I actually went in and added a glitter to the front of my eyes it's I added the sugar pill ghosted glitter because it didn't have enough shimmer I need shimmer in my life. I just do. But with this one, it doesn't have a lot of matte. So as a standalone palette, no. It, I mean, if the shimmer life is your life, then yeah, you could probably do a whole entire shimmery eye look. But it's not my life. I like shimmer, but not all over the eye. Contradictory, I know. But out of the two, I would have to say, oh, actually it says... 10 shimmer, 6 matte. That's actually quite convenient. <laughs> it says right here. 10 shimmer, 6 matte, which I didn't see 6 mattes. Maybe there is. Maybe, uh, maybe there's more than I thought. 
but this one's eight shimmer, eight matte. But anyways, where was I going? Don't know. Brain died. It sailed away. Sail away. It was convenient. What was convenient? It was on the case because you I lost oh, standalone palettes. So out of this one, neither of these I feel like are standalone palettes. It has no transition shades. It doesn't have any light colors minus the white. And I do need some light shades if I'm going to be blending this out. I just do. I don't think, I mean, you could probably mix the white in with some shades and make it, but I feel like that's, that's a lot of effort to have to go into to make an entire eye look by having to blend two different shadows together just to get a fade going. I have stained hands. But it can be done. These shades are pretty. I do like them. I was obviously drawn to them for a reason. I will play with this some more. I might do a first impressions kind of eye look using this palette. See if I can, in fact, use just one of these, this whole entire palette on its own. But I will be decluttering this one. I declutter along the way. I do not like this dark rain palette. I feel like it's just, I feel like they had a th something going, but you can't have an entire palette and have a good idea and then put a whole bunch of crap shades in it. It's just not going to end well. So I will declutter this one for sure. That one's going to be going, but I will be keeping the Give Them Darkness look uh, palette and I will try, I will add it into a rotation to do a first impression or add it into my been to do a first impression for you guys and see if I can actually create two different eye looks because I like to do the two uh two eyes one palette so I'll see if I can actually create two different eye looks using this palette alone wish me luck anyways that is all for this video I'm not I usually I know that I usually do brush swatches but I'm not going to do it with this one because I'm just going to be doing an entire eye look with this palette. And, I mean, I could do brush swatches with the Dark Rain palette. But, to me, if I'm not going to do it with one, why would I do it with the other? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you come back for more. I love you all, you beautiful unicorns. Bye. Don't mind my yucky fingers. I know they're yucky.